IRIM is one of the leading institutions worldwide dealing with quantum metrology, producing research for fundamental science and application, giving added value for the metrological chains. We are responsible for all the activities in the country under the frame of the Mitra Convention. The focus of our activity is on the development of novel advanced materials and measuring techniques to meet the increasing demand of societal needs in several fields. We uh, devote uh, uh, the research to atomic clocks, to devices uh, based on superconducting materials or other uh, sophisticated quantum effects and quantum communications like quantum key distribution. We carry out uh, metrological research and uh, new services in order to support uh, societal challenges like the ones uh, related to climate change and the use of clean energy. The second is the first unit that was realized using quantum concept, the idea of that we can uh, generate the second based on a fixed atomic transition on cesium. Uh, here on my back you can see the Italian cesium fountain, a clock, uh, a primary frequency standard that is devoted to realize the unit of time the second. A uh, cesium fountain can reach an accuracy of one part in 10 to minus 16, meaning that uh, it will not uh, lose uh, or uh, gain one second over 300 million of years or even more. But already uh, new clocks are being developed with the higher accuracy that are the optical clocks. Optical clocks are the new frontier of atomic clocks. They have simply uh, the best accuracy that we can provide for measurement. And uh, these kind of clocks are based on different atoms like ytterbium, strontium, and ethereum we have also barium ion. We have talked about the redefinition of the second, but indeed they are used also to explore the effects of general relativity and to measure geopotential. This is a new application that is called the relativistic geodesy and is possible using the accuracy of optical clocks combined with optical fibers. Now we are using uh, these devices as quantum sensors and uh, quantum devices to change our capabilities in simulation, in computing and in sensing. In Quantum Electronics Group we develop, measure and uh, realize a quantum circuits for sensing and metrology and we exploit uh, quantum phenomena in order to realize better standards and better measurements to improve the accuracy and stability uh, in the uh, electrical and metrology field. In order to exploit uh, quantum phenomena, it is crucial that the experimental environment is located at really ultra low temperature. Behind me, you, you can see a cryostat dilution refrigerator that reaches 10 millikelvin at the lowest base temperature. And this is the um, proper environment to realize, of course, the quantum wall effect, the superconductivity needed for the Josephson junctions to operate, and, and also other more uh, exotic uh, quantum phenomena that can be exploited in metrology and the electrical metrology. One of the ambitions of uh, this laboratory, together with the clean room that we have in our campus, is to design, develop, and realize our own circuits. This, of course, is a key process that gives the INRI the possibility to be a leader in the sector of quantum electronics and quantum circuits. This laboratory offers one of the main focus uh, objectives of, of the nanotechnologies, that is the control of the matter at the nanoscale. With these technologies, like these ion beams, for example, uh, it is possible to control very small objects. But what we are doing at INRIM uh, since 2010 is also uh, working on new approaches of lithography with new methodology of uh, lithography, nanolithography, and nanofabrication. So we are using this uh, directed self-assembly, that is the composition of very very small objects that are in some way ordering together 
uh, on large area. So we are mixing the two approaches to have a very nice control on a very small scale, but also applying this to large area. By designing magnetic nanostructure with the instruments that are present in these facilities, we can, uh, we can prepare devices for spintronics that exploits the manipulation of the spins by applying a magnetic or electrical fields. In this way, it is possible to prepare, characterize and optimize magnetic memories and magnetologic elements uh, completely in our in-room lab. And they can be ready for application in magnetic electronics. The quantum computer creates a series of threats to secured communication. Since uh, public key encryption, the one that is most used, is based on mathematical problems that cannot be solved efficiently by classical computer, but it can be efficiently solved by a quantum computer. Quantum mechanics creates a serious challenge to encrypted communication, but it also provides the solution. The solution is a quantum key distribution. Quantum key distribution is able to protect communication thanks to the intrinsic property of the quantum state of flight. The idea is that quantum key distribution is able to protect the, your communication exploiting the laws of nature. We also make tests in field of QKD system. In particular, we have got a test bed, what is called the Italian quantum backbone. The Italian quantum backbone is a fiber infrastructure, 1,800 kilometers length along the whole Italian country, typically used to make frequency distribution as a service towards other scientific institutions, banks, etc., etc., etc. Regarding the future, we are working in order to integrate all the technology we have for photonics, electronics, sensing, in order to have cold atom on a single chip. In frequency metrology, the higher you go in frequency, the better stability and accuracy you can get. Since 20 years, we are working on optical clocks and uh, the next uh, definition of the second will be based on uh, those transition. By definition, metrology must be reliable. As an institute dealing with metrology research, we have to push forward the boundaries of metrology for including the new societal challenges. We are working on it, and quantum metrology is a good example of this goal.